Welcome back, everybody, for another Contrastly video short. I am Adam Welch. I really appreciate you coming back with us here again today. You know, here at Contrastly, we're well known for our absolutely enormous library of Lightroom developed presets. We're known for our education materials, our ebooks, our video courses, that kind of thing. But you may not know that we also have a very extensive catalog of Photoshop actions. Now, some people shy away from Photoshop actions. There's no reason for that. Some people think they may be a little more complicated. Maybe they don't understand exactly what they do. But I'm here to tell you today, folks, Photoshop actions are nothing, are nothing to be afraid of. In some ways, I prefer them over uh, Lightroom developed presets just in their simplicity and their raw editing power once inside Photoshop. Think of them as presets for Photoshop. They save you a load of time. They can go through and apply literally infinite amounts of edits in Photoshop with just a single click. And they work very similarly to Lightroom presets. So if you're familiar with that, you're not going to have any trouble with actions. So we're here today. I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about Photoshop actions, what they are, how you can make your own, how you can import your actions into Photoshop and use them for virtually any image that you have. So let's get going. First off, I am working in, uh, I'm a Windows guy, so this is the Windows version of Photoshop. This is the Photoshop build number 20, and even 20, kind of hard to believe that we're already on build 20 of Photoshop. And uh, folks, I'm going to tell you now before we get going, your Photoshop may look a little bit different than mine. Uh, Photoshop is very customizable, so don't let that bother you. I'm going to show you a few ways to get into your actions. The way I have it set up here is I have a dedicated actions button, so to get into that, we just click on that button and our actions tool panel opens up right here. If you were to not have this actions button on your version of Photoshop or the way you have your Photoshop configured, all you need to do is go up to window and then click on actions or hit keyboard shortcut alt F9. I think it may be option F9 on a Mac and that's going to open up that same window window for you. As I said, an action is just a preset for Photoshop, so it's going to let you record a lot of different edits and make them into an action so it can save you a lot of time the next time you want to do those edits again. For example here, I've been working with a lot of um, infrared simulations, so I have this aerochrome simulation that I've turned into an action, and I can just click that, click play, and that's going to add in all of these layers and all these adjustments into an action. And now I can just go through any image that I want, click play on that action, and it's going to automatically apply that action to any image that I want. And it saves me, you know, literally hours of work at times just applying an action. And that's why actions are so great and so powerful for you and your images because they're just so much of a time saver. And of course, since we're here in Photoshop, we can toggle these layers on and off. We have our mask where we can go in, again, work with the layers, work with our masking. And it's so, I can't tell you enough how much actions are infinitely customizable and they can help you out so much. So let's go ahead and get into how you can make your own actions and how you can import your own actions into Photoshop. So we have this image here. This was actually shot on film. This is out on Route 66 in New Mexico. And let's say we want to just edit this with some basic adjustments here in Photoshop. Let's say we want to add a little bit of contrast. We want to adjust our curves to make it a little faded, a little more vintage looking. And let's cool that image down with a cooling filter in our photo filters. Change that. So let's count them up here. We have uh, three separate steps here, three separate edits that we've layered on top of our background image. Now, I would have to do that each and every time that I want to go in and edit a picture a similar way. So what an action will do for you, or what recording an action will do for you, is save all of those in a preset for Photoshop. It'll make you an action so you don't have to go through there and do all that stuff each and every time. To do this, we're going to click on our new action icon or create new action icon. And now we're going to name it. Let's do this vintage film. 
and we can choose to color code these. I'll show you a little bit more about that later, but uh, for the sake of just doing it, let's color code that red. Select record. Now everything that we do from here, uh, here on in Photoshop is going to be recorded into this action. So let's go ahead and do our brightness and contrast again. A little more contrast, a little less brightness. Our curves. And lastly, our cooling filter. And there we go. Now that we have all of our edits done, we're going to select stop. And that has recorded our action right here in our actions panel. We see vintage film. If we want to delete these edits off, we can click our action again, click on play, and boom, there you go. All those edits are saved into that single action. We go to another image, we click on that action, click play, and that's going to add those edits to another image if we choose. Now, again, if you want to adjust any of these selections or any of these adjustments that you've already made, you can do that as you normally would here in Photoshop. I'm going to paint over that curves adjustment, lighten that up just a little bit. There we go. And we can do that with any of these that we have selected in that action to be recorded. Very, very cool. Now, let's say that you have some actions that you've purchased from Contrastly, someone has gave you, you've got some actions that you want to get into Photoshop. I'm telling you, this is so much easier than even importing Lightroom presets, which is really not hard at all. All you're going to do is download those actions to your computer, wherever they are on your computer. I've downloaded our Contrastly Photoshop Actions bundle here. This is a zip file, as you would get from us. I'm going to double click and extract all of those. Again, yours might not be in a zip folder, so you'll just go to wherever they are on your computer. Now that they are extracted, and actually I'm going to try to make this a little bit easier for you to see what's going on. Bear with me. There we go. Uh, we'll pay attention to the actual actions panel here. Uh, go to wherever you have your actions downloaded on your computer. I'm going to double click that folder. I have Windows. And getting these into Photoshop is as easy as giving two clicks. We have our actions panel open in Photoshop. We have our folder with our actions in it on our computer. And pay attention right here. We're going to double click, and that is automatically adding those actions into Photoshop. We don't have to do anything else. There's no importing. Photoshop is doing everything for us. It is organizing them in alphabetical order here. And once we get that imported, we close out of that, get back into Photoshop here. And now we have all of our contrastly actions instantly, in our case the Contrastly Actions, instantly imported. We just click one that is going to add the actions in there, all of our edits. And a very cool thing that you can do with these actions is click something called Play All. And this is in every action that we have on here. Open that up. There we go. Hit Play All. And that is going to add every action in the bundle or action in the group as a separate layer group here and you can toggle those on and off to preview your effects. Let that load up and I'll show you what I mean. So all I have to do is click hide or show a little eyeball icon here next to the action and I can preview the effects of just one action at a time or stacking the actions on top of one another and of course since these are layer groups, we can expand them and go in and adjust each individual layer or layer mask as we see fit. Now this works for any image, RAW, uh, JPEG, anything that you've imported into Photoshop. If it's compatible with Photoshop, it's compatible with your action. Going to have a look at a few more of these just to have some fun here. So I've just hit play all again here. 
I highly recommend if you get your actions from us, go ahead and click on that play all, no matter what you're doing, just to have a look. And that way you can really easily preview. This is our center stock actions. You can preview exactly. Oh, that's a nice one. You can really preview how those actions will look on your image without having to go in and do a lot of work. Now, if you remember, I mentioned earlier when we were making that first vintage film preset, we color coded that. The reason you can do it is because Photoshop has a function with their actions called button mode. And you click that and it's going to color code everything. You can see that vintage film that's in red. Uh, just, you know, it helps you stay more organized and a little bit more tidy here with our actions. Because if you go out of button mode, you have a lot more options here and a lot more customization as far as how your actions are stored and how you organize them. With button mode, it just looks a lot more clean. You click on one and it's going to apply that action for you. There's no play button or anything like that. So it's another option to be a little bit more condensed and tidy while you're working with your actions in Photoshop. All right, everyone, thank you again for joining me here for this Contrastly video short. We went over our Photoshop actions. If you want to head over to Contrastly, there'll be a link down there in the description to check out our complete Photoshop actions bundle. There's over 180 excellent Photoshop actions in there. As always, if you have any questions about actions, about Lightroom presets, about photography in general, don't hesitate to reach out with us and we'll get back to you absolutely as soon as we can. Until next time, everybody, I'm Adam Welch. Have a great day.